only thing sweeter than Marty is this Georgia watermelon. I gotta tell you, this is incredible. Every little kid out there, anywhere in the world, when you get criticized, and you're going to if you're competitive, they will try to tear you down. You will start believing them. You can't do it. You have to go to your people, trust in the process. NASCAR fans, it's time to talk about a driver who turned the sport upside down, Ross Chastain. From smashing watermelons to smashing the competition, this guy's journey has been one heck of a ride. Born and raised on a watermelon farm in Alva, Florida, Ross didn't just wake up one day and decide to race, nah, it's been in his blood since day one. Ross has come a long way from his family's farm to becoming one of NASCAR's most talked about stars. Aggressive, fearless, and unapologetic, Chastain is the kind of guy who'll race you hard, smash a watermelon in your face, and keep rolling like it's no big deal. And you know what? Fans love it. But what really put him on the map? His wild, never back down style and moves that have had fans and haters alike talking. Who could forget the Hail Melon move that went viral? And then, just when you thought he was done stirring the pot, he goes and flips the script with some bold moments on track. But here's the real question. Will Chastain keep this aggressive style rolling and take home the cup? Or will his rivals finally put the brakes on his melon-fueled magic? Chastain's story is one of grit, glory, and you guessed it, a lot of smashed watermelons. Get ready, cause this is one heck of a ride. Now, Ross Chastain wasn't born into a racing dynasty. Nope, this guy was raised on a watermelon farm in Alva, Florida. Yeah, you heard that right. Watermelon Farmer. Born on December 4th, 1992, Ross spent his early years working on his family's farm, JDI Farms. His pops, Ralph, was a hobby racer, and young Ross would watch him rip it up on the track. Little did anyone know that passion would get transferred onto the asphalt. By the time Ross was 12, he wasn't just in the field picking melons. He was out there racing in the late model and fast rock series. Talk about a quick learner. He was straight up dominating short tracks across Florida, grabbing over 50 wins. But it wasn't just about turning left. This dude had some serious drive. Fast forward to 2011, and this kid, still rocking that farm boy charm, gets his big break. After impressing in the World Series of Asphalt, Ross steps into the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. He replaced Justin Marks mid-season and finished 10th at Lucas Oil Raceway in Indy. A solid start, right? But if you thought that was the end of his journey, think again. He wasn't just here to make up the numbers, he was coming for that win. He grinded it out in the truck series, moving on to the Xfinity series, and along the way, he snagged some big wins and a ton of fans. But you know what they say? It's all about that cup, baby. In 2017, Chastain finally got his shot in the big leagues, the NASCAR Cup Series. He made his debut with Premium Motorsports, driving the 15 car. But let's be real, it wasn't until 2021 that the real magic started to happen. That's when he leveled up and signed with Chip Ganassi Racing. But it didn't stop there. Oh no, the watermelon man wasn't done. And 2022? That's when the real fireworks went off. Ross signed with Trackhouse Racing, and he was ready to make some noise. He didn't just show up, he took names. He destroyed the competition at the Circuit of the Americas, securing his first ever Cup Series win. And don't even get us started on his performance at Martinsville that year. Last lap, outside wall, bam. He hail meloned his way into the championship four. That move, iconic. If you didn't know what a hail melon was before, you sure as heck do now. Who even does that? But Ross Chastain? Yeah, he does it. That's the kind of fearless attitude that makes people love or hate him. But who cares? The dude is winning, and that's all that matters, right? Ross's daring maneuvers even earned him the nickname, the Watermelon Warrior. And in 2023, he proved it wasn't a fluke. Another win at Phoenix Raceway? Check. He wasn't just hanging around for a couple of podiums. He's got the chops to make it happen year after year. All right, now let's talk about the eighth generation watermelon farmer turned NASCAR superstar. Let's break it down. Ross's estimated net worth in 2024, a cool $4 million. Most of that dough comes from tearing up the track in NASCAR, where he's bagging about $2 million a year, but he's not stopping there. Ross also cashes in on his own merch line. So if you're rocking some Chastain gear, you're helping the man grow that bank account. Speaking of growing, Ross landed a mega deal in 2023 with Bush Light. His car now sports that sweet blue and white Bush livery, and he's out here repping the brand like a pro. And let's not forget his longtime partnership with the Moose Fraternity, a social service organization. Not only does he rock their logo, but he's also out there doing good work with their charity programs. Big respect for that. But wait, there's more. Ross has also got backing from heavyweights like Jockey, Kubota, 
Worldwide Express, and more. It's not every day you get support from Kevin Harvick's former $110 billion sponsor, Anheuser-Busch, right? The number one car is stacked with sponsors, and it's easy to see why. They know Ross is the real deal. This guy's been breaking records too. Back in 2019, he ran the most consecutive races to start a season across all three NASCAR series. That's 23 races, beating out none other than Kyle Busch's 22. Talk about dedication. Ross Chastain is the ultimate underdog turned superstar, and we're all here for it. With his talent, grit, and watermelon farming roots, he's bringing something special to the sport. And speaking of his car, let's just take a second to appreciate that number one Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. The car's a beast, and Chastain's driving is pure art. Aggressive, unapologetic, and always with that little extra spice. As per sources, Chastain resides in a spacious three-bedroom house in Mooresville, North Carolina, a city known for its vibrant community and proximity to various racing venues. The area is popular among NASCAR drivers and offers a mix of suburban tranquility and urban convenience. And hey, it's not all racing and melons for Ross. Off the track, he's got a pretty sweet life too. For one, he's dating Erica Ann Turner, a real estate agent, model, and total pageant queen. She won Miss North Carolina United States in 2021 and Miss US Landscapes in 2020. These two are goals, honestly. They keep it low-key, but when they share pics, it's clear they're having a blast together. And let's not forget where it all started. Ross Chastain is deeply rooted in his family and the tradition of their watermelon business. Coming from a family of farmers, Ross emphasizes his connection to agriculture and as his family has been in watermelon farming for over eight generations, this background has significantly shaped his identity both on and off the track. Every win he has, every move he pulls, is a tribute to his family's hard work and those hot, sweaty days out in the field. Ross never forgets where he came from. Outside of racing, Ross enjoys spending time with his family and is often seen participating in various farm activities. He is passionate about promoting watermelon farming and agriculture in general, frequently engaging with fans through social media and making public appearances to advocate for the farming community. In addition to agriculture, Ross enjoys outdoor activities such as fishing and hunting. He shares these interests on his social media platforms, showing his love for nature and the outdoors. So, what's next for Ross Chastain? Will he continue to crush it? Or will we see even more iconic moves? Whatever happens, one thing's for sure. This guy's not just here to race, he's here to make history. And if you're a fan of NASCAR, you better buckle up, because the watermelon warrior isn't slowing down anytime. So, what do you think? Is Ross the future of NASCAR? Is he gonna keep going all in with his aggressive moves, or will the critics finally catch up to him? And can he actually pull off a Cup Series championship with that style? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get this discussion rolling. And if you can't get enough of these NASCAR superstar lifestyle videos, you're in luck. We've got plenty more where that came from. Who do you want us to cover next? Do share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more interesting stories and updates from everything NASCAR. Do share this video with your friends. Until next time, keep the conversation going on lucky dog on track.